Hello everybody, I am Jason Quarter, and I'm going to be demonstrating you the Muse Concrete tool that I've been working on for the last two months. Um, I needed something to be able to quickly drag and drop a bunch of these vinyl tape radio samples I've been collecting and recording over the last forever. Um, and um, something that I could, um, it was small and portable, I could take out on a tablet and easily just do a bunch of sketching. Um, out in the forest where I, I somehow find the best inspiration. Uh, this is a great sketch tool. It's, it looks crazy, but it's actually quite easy. And I'll just do a quick run through of all the, uh, the main features. I'm just gonna flash something really quick here. These are the um, patches that I pulled from and proved on, utilized to make this. Um, I, I didn't use anything from the quad uh, chaos one, but that essentially inspired the layout and main um, functionality of this one. So I highly recommend if you're really into experimental, concrete type stuff, check out the Quad Chaos. It's a great sound design tool there. So uh, general overview, we've got four lanes. You can drag samples from the browser in there. You can also record from any track in Ableton. So you can record a guitar or a synth or anything like that. Um, We've got this auto note generator that fires off the samples automatically. So you just drag in and it starts playing notes, immediately hear them. We've got filter sections. We've got a little delay section there. Uh, we've got a whole nutty LFO section where things can get really crazy. Uh, we've got this input recording section. Uh, so you can just select any other uh, track and, and do, do recordings there. You can also play each of these lanes on the keyboard and they're polyphonic. So you can uh, sequence this if you want to do, you know, slightly more pedestrian genres. You can do, you know, beats, um, stuff for like, you know, EDM, dubstep, whatever you want. Although I think this tool is a lot more geared for weird sound design, exploration, uh, drone, ambient, music concrete type stuff, hence the name. So let's dive in. I'm going to mute this. I'm going to open up this other instance of it. Open says me. Okay, so we've got a blank slate here. Um, and let's go ahead and do some recordings. I'm gonna record from this uh, Cardinal VCV track here. Let's boost the volume of that one up a little bit. Uh, Cardinal VCV is a freebie and I couldn't recommend it more to be honest. It's one of the most powerful free plugins known to man. Uh, it, it, tons of modules and it can be an amazing generative uh, effects processor, MIDI processor, synthesizer, sampler, you name it, whatever you wanna build. Uh, it's insanely awesome and powerful. So we'll do a bunch of other tutorial videos on that later. So let's record some of this. Sounds like we could get a good pad out of this. Let me um, just check the input. Looks like we're all set up. If you see green right there, you are good to go. So let's close that down. Let's hit record and we see some stuff going into the buffer there. I don't need much to make a pad. So uh, once you record, just drag a section. Let's mute that track and go ahead and turn on the note generator sounds like just like what we we just recorded so you can play with a pitch here we've we could also play with we can play with the pitch there you get that sweet uh 80s computer uh electronics uh experimental 80s electronic sound there <laughs> i kind of like that so every time you you change a note here for the generator it fires a note at the same time which is kind of fun and weird. Um, so we can also change the time down to something like 200 and get, you know, like, you know, something really like sort of, you know, Roy Shikita kind of experimental minimal. Um, but let's try to go for uh, a pad. Let's, um, let's change the attack and release. Um, we can also move these. That changes the start point and point. We can right click and we can automate just anything in here. So, you know, once you start automating this thing, it turns into an insanely powerful tool. Um, but just right at the core, you don't even have to automate stuff and you can get some, I think, some interesting results. Um, so let's turn off our a note generator. Let's go ahead and make a clip. We'll make this four uh, length and looks like our root note on the zone filter section is C4. So let's just draw a note here and let's draw a note there. We'll make a chord of sorts. Cool. And let's uh, change the root down. Let's change it down to three octaves and see what happens. Nice. Almost like a sort of glass kind of bowed thing going on there. We can hit loop and um, change the fade up there to get more of a a nice loop section there for our pad.
cool. Let's add a little more release on that. Um, one thing I should point out that's very important when you record something into one of these lanes, go ahead and hit this save button. And we'll call this glass pad one and hit enter. And then the next thing you need to do is, I can't stress this enough, hit that save button again, drag in what we just saved. So now when you see a file name here, you can hit save on your master project and it saves the reference to it there. Um, let's go ahead and uh, turn this up just a little bit. And let's play with the, we've got some filter here. Let's add a little bit of delay in there. Let's get that minus five. Uh, let's add some LFO to delay A because I think that sounds really nice. Um, adds a little bit of extra granular sort of feel to it when we modulate the delay time. One thing I will add in at some point is an indicator like this one that kind of shows you how the delay is being manipulated. Um, but you can also, of course, the LFO, you've got this section here to sort of see what uh, it's doing. And of course you can draw, you know, a Leonardo da Vinci masterpiece uh, in each one of these uh, for some craziness. Um, and the LFOs, you've also got your, your basic shapes there too if you wanna just uh, stick with that. And all right, um, okay, let's record. I wanna take this down one more kind of, oh, minus 48. I am just uh, I'm not sure why the keyboard is not taking on that. And I do recommend automating this right here. You you know, automating it in the octaves, you can get some interesting effects here. Let's um, let's go ahead and hold down Alt and pull our automation loop off a of grid so we can get some interesting sort of aleatory going with that. Um, I'm gonna put an LFO on the volume there. Maybe we'll just do like a, a ramp there. Let's see, volume A, yeah. And that automate, or the LFO controls the volume that is pre-delay. So let's go ahead and adjust that, the depth on that. I think we need to, maybe the offset. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, let's record something else out of Carnal. Let's... let's also turn this up a little bit. Hopefully you guys can hear this along the way. All right. Uh, yeah, there we go. Something a little more percussive. So let's record that. Let me make sure our input source is set. Yep, Cardinal Synth, hit record. There we go. So every 5.5 seconds, we're gonna get a note firing off. Um, this section below it is a randomizer. It kind of randomizes the time there. Um, we've also got this pitch time section. Uh, you can add stretch and formant stuff there. Um, of course, mute and pan, pretty self-explanatory. Um, there's an output file recorder. So you can record the entirety output of this if you wanna do like a performance. I left that in there because I'm gonna make a standalone version of this. Um, for Mac and PC, anybody who's not using Ableton, eventually this will be for them also. So let's pull in a sample. Uh, what do we got here? I have no idea what these sound like. I am just going to pick a random one and hope for the best. That's kind of how I like to operate. Um, let's pull this down. Not great. Um, let's try some attack on that. Yeah, not not the best. Sometimes you know you gotta you gotta yeah you gotta play with a few samples before you finally get that one. And let's try C or G one. So every time you change a note here, as you've noticed, it changes the pitch as well. So I'm gonna automate this to go up to a G. So you could actually make a, use this as a sequencer if I turn the generator off every time you've automated a note change here. Let's 
it will fire the note off as the yeah as the notes change there so that's another way you can control this thing besides uh, notes in ah, I need to save this definitely let's call it perco one save you hit the save button again at some point I'm going to build in this to be automated uh, so that it just when you save it it automatically pulls the file back in I'm not super great at max for live so I'm not sure how that's even gonna if that's even possible actually um, so if you do find bugs with this feel free to post them in the comments or whatever so I can I'm sure there's bugs hiding out inside this thing um, yeah these this blue blue bar here you can hit the Z to zoom out um, but if you select kind of around the the yellow section you can zoom in um, yeah let's do a kind of granular uh, maybe not that fast how about 30 and then let's automate the pitch on this got a nice little sort of minimal ambiency kind of thing Going on, let's get some delay uh, low pass on this guitar here too. It's a bit of a cheesy guitar sample. It sounds very like sort of 80s fourth world style. John Hassel, rest in peace. Uh, let's see here, minus five. And I'm probably forgetting something to cover here, but I think I've almost covered most of it. I guess, you know, I will say one idiosyncrasy about this zone uh, filter section is that this um, zone bottom carries the C3 root note with it. So if I set this to C0 and I played a C0, it, it would actually play C3. Um, and then, you know, that's a little bit weird and different from the traditional way of where you just set the sort of zone, it filters out all the other notes, and then you set the root note after that. This sort of carries it, the root note with it, and I, I find that to be a bit easier as far as like keyboard splits um, and being able to play things that they're originally recorded or whatever, their original root note um, that way. And you can further adjust it um, by messing around as you've seen me do earlier, uh, this root note offset thing here. Okay, so I guess the last step is let's mangle the heck out of this with some craziness. Um, and I hope you enjoy this tool as much as I did, do, and uh, I've had a lot of fun building it. I've learned a lot. I'm a terrible Max for Live uh, builder, but, you know, thanks to all of these awesome um, patches here this was able to be possible so hopefully you enjoyed playing with it as much as i do and uh, happy sketching